Jennifer Love Hewitt, everybody. You know, I, are restless. I, got, I got to tell you, it doesn't happen when Regis Feldman comes out. Uh, <laughs> much as I love Regis, that's not the noise they Aww. make. No. How are you, young lady? I'm great. How you are you? are, aren't you? You're, You're lovely. You're so charming. Am I really? You really are. So are you. You're so funny and Aren't great. we lovely? I'm so happy to be here. Where's are... the tea? Oh, we finished the tea. Oh. Thank God. <laughs> Yeah, there was an odd little cup of tea in a chat tonight. Yeah, we I liked talked. It. Oh, you did? I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 thank God for that. It was all for you. Thank you. It was all for you. Thank you. You know, Martha Stewart has a talking horse. I heard. I think that's why she went to jail. You think? She, she, she took the fall for the horse. <laughs> now, listen, I want to I wanna know about I want to know about you. You've been in show business since you were a tiny little baby, huh? Yes, 16 years. 16 years you've yeah. been in show business? What, yeah. What, are you now, like 20? 26. 26? Yeah. Oh. Thanks. Yes, apparently that's a, that's that's a great, great achievement. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, actually, it's wearing very well on you. You do look Thank very you. well at 26. Thanks very much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks again. I, I think she gets the message. <laughs> I love you guys. Yes, <laughs> yes. Does that happen to you wherever you go? Do people flip? Everywhere. Really? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, not, I have a small crowd that travels with me. No, no, not at all. I really appreciate it. Thanks do, so much. Do you, do you have a posse? Do you travel with a posse of people? Like, no. you know, do you have bling bling and a posse? And <laughs> a car that goes up and down? And I everything? have very little bling bling and no posse. No. Uh, well, that's probably bad. No, I'm happy about that. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> it's good. I'm not really the posse type. So. No. 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 But what's, so you got, you got into show business when you, when you were, what, eight years old? When I was eight years old, What yes. did you do when you were I, eight? I traveled to um, Russia and represent the United States as a goodwill ambassador. Really? Yeah. So I sang and went to communist youth camps and performed for all oh the kids my, there. Oh, my God. I had no idea you had done that. Yeah. It was amazing. It was really cool. Where did you go? Did you go to Moscow? Moscow, yeah. I've been to Moscow. It's an amazing place, isn't it's it? It's terrible. It really is. Yeah. They locked us in our rooms and took our passports while we were sleeping at night, and then we couldn't. We weren't allowed to leave until they let us out. Who did that? Your agent? <laughs> no, the people that own the hotel. Like when you checked in, they took your passports. Really? And everything. Yeah, it was very. It's very different now. Very different now, yeah. Yeah, because I, I went over after you went over before, before. the communists yes. fell, uh, so they'd be all very scary and people. Oh, yeah. or, or. They hit me with a stick while I was there because I was laughing at a. Yes, that was that against the law. Yeah, 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 that yeah. wasn't appropriate, and so they hit me with the stick. It was very strange. Yeah. I was well, like, you, you oh, okay. You, you weren't naughty, were you? No, I wasn't. All right. <laughs> so I went, to, I went to a very different place. Uh, and then I don't think I'm happy. I went to Russia after the communists had been there. Did they, they hit you with a stick? They didn't. No, oh. no, no. no. It was, it's very different now. It's like Chicago in the 1920s. It's like they have capitalism, <laughs> but, no, uh, but no real effective police force. All right. Ratty tat tat. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, it's like Texas with rain, you know. I'm I mean, from Texas. Are you from Texas? I'm from Texas. Really? Thanks again. Um, I was born in Waco. Yeah. Oh, Waco! Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Thanks very much. No, I, I, He's the one guy who's like, yay, Waco. No, not really feeling it. Which, Thanks, though. Have you ever been part of any kind of religious thing? No, no. David wasn't a bad guy. No, no, no I'm just no, kidding. No, no, I'm no, kidding. No, no. In fact, no. let's never talk about let's that again. Let's not ever talk about that. So you, you go to Russia, you do yes. the, the you go around the communist youth camps right. telling them about Coca-Cola and Levi James. <laughs> they were obsessed with bubble gum. Really? Yes, that was the weirdest thing, is all the little kids wanted, um, and they would give me these pins and like things from their households and stuff in exchange for bubble gum. They just loved it. They had really? no bubble gum, and that's all that they wanted. Did you have really a lot of bubble gum with you? I did. I was eight at the time, so right. I was into the bubble yum thing and Big League Chew. Have you ever had Big League Chew? No. <laughs> 
What, what is the big league chew? I will you send speak? you some. It's, a, it's like a small packet, like a bag of gum that's shredded. And you take it, and it kind of looks like chewing tobacco, which they really shouldn't give kids if you think about it. But whatever. And, Do you um, spit? Do you go... <laughs> no, but it makes huge bubbles. It's a, I'll get you some, and I'll send it to you. Oh, please. And you can try it I on will. the show. Big League Chew segment. You know segment. what? I think it would go better than... <laughs> I think it would go better than, than the Master Stewart talking horse thing. No. Mm -hmm. I thought that was very funny. No, well, I don't know. I, don't, I, I think we'll have to differ on that. So you come back, and you, you start... What was your first movie thing? Was it Party of Five was your breakthrough role, do you think? Yeah, I was the queen of, like, cancelled television series before that, and then I got very lucky with Party of Five. Thanks again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I got lucky with Party of Five, and Party things of have five. been going well since then. So. And you did that lovely film with Sigourney Weaver, didn't Heartbreakers. you? Heartbreakers. Uh, yeah, I loved that film. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. I loved that film. Thanks. You played, uh, you played con artists, yes. didn't you? It was yes. like dusty, rotten scoundrels, except you were two hot chicks. Yes. I see, I know all the lingo. <laughs> Hot chicks. Hot chicks. Yeah. Did you see that, that white chicks movie? No. Did you like that no. movie? I like that movie. Yeah. Anyway. Are, you, are you in it? No. Well, that's why I didn't Just see it. Just thought it good while we were talking. <laughs> All right. Did you see? Did you see the movie Troy? I didn't. No. Now should I? No. Okay. No. <laughs> All right. No. Did you see Finding Neverland? I haven't seen Finding <gasps> Neverland. No. It's tremendous. Is it good? Yes, you have to see it. Johnny Depp does a. Does a Scottish accent in it? Yes, he does it very good. Is it, is it good? Yeah. Yours you? is not bad either. Well, I don't know. I've had a lot of complaints about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. From Scottish people, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or the guy who does the voice of uh, Willie, groundskeeper Willie in The Simpsons. <laughs> like, I don't know what accent that is. but uh, no. I uh, worked with Do Grace Scott, who's Scottish. Do Grace Scott, I know, is a you Scottish do? actor. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. I just did a movie with him in London. So. What movie did you do in London? Um, it's called The Truth About Love. Oh. And I play an English girl in that. So. You play an English girl? I do. Nice. Yeah. You can do an English accent? I did in the movie, but I can't do it right nah. now. <laughs> did you have a nice time in London? I loved it. Good. I'll talk to you about it in a minute. We've okay. got to take a, quite, a quick break. We'll be right back with Jennifer Love here. Jennifer Love Hewitt, who I found out in the commercial break, her nickname, your nickname is Monkey. Monkey, yes. Yeah. Do I know that? Because on my desk here, sometimes I, I talk to the folks, I talk to you at home and I call you Cheeky Wee Monkeys, don't I? And, and someone made me a Cheeky Wee Monkey. It's so cute. Oh. It's adorable. It is, it's lovely. It's so cute. But it's mine. Um, and you can't have it. Okay, um, fine. No, no, that's right. Now, you've been in London. <laughs> yes. You liked London. Do you have a nice I loved time? London. Where did you stay in London? I had an apartment on Gloucester Road and Kensington High Street. Oh, so that's uh, southwest London. Yeah, that's right quite nice. Yeah. Hyde Near Hyde Park. Yeah, it was lovely. Did you, uh, did you go and see the beef eaters? Did you go to a beef eater? What's a beef eater? Beef eater. You know the guys that wear the big red uh, kind of dresses that stand outside of the Tower of London? Yes. They're soldiers. They're called beef eaters. Why are they called that? I have no idea, you know, I have That's no idea. That's a terrible what... name. Well, what should they be called then? I don't know. Men, not beef eaters. Well, uh, I think, I think I what happened in, the, in ancient times, beef was very expensive and they were the only ones that were allowed it. I oh. just made that up, but it's pretty well, good. Well, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. You now know, I like it. You know when you go to, when, every time you go to Europe and someone tells you an interesting little fact <laughs> like that, they just made it up. <laughs> we, we don't know the answer. Oh. So, listen, you're not, you're not married or anything, right? No, I'm so not So, were, were you dating when you were in London? Did you meet any nice guys with bad teeth or anything like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I dated a little bit while I was there, but not really. I was working so much. Right. So I've done most of my dating here. You do your dating here? How, yeah. How is that going for you, you know? Right? It's, it's fine. It's great. It's great. Do yeah. you have trouble getting a date? I don't think so. Um, no, but I attract interesting people. Is, does that mean stalkers? <laughs> too right. but no um i've had interesting dates um i i went out with a guy who yelled at me the entire time i was eating <laughs> he yelled at you yeah on a yelled, first date yelled at me why are you eating your steak like that why do you want ketchup what is that why do you put it that way i was like okay all right i was very nervous and like people were looking at us i'm like dude wait, 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 stop wait. yelling at me for eating <laughs> it was very and he thought was it he, went great was, was he deaf no no, and he thought the date was fantastic. He's like, this was great. I felt something. I'm like, you're the only one. Yeah. Um, 
so yeah, so I, I went out with that guy. I also went out with the guy who handed me a pack of Altoids at the beginning of the night. So when we make out later, yeah, and he did this. When we make out later. <laughs> did he do the, the double finger yeah. guns? That's I'm like, very I can't bad. Travolta. <laughs> I can't wait for that. So he did that, and then um, and then I had another guy call us a couple in the first two seconds. Like we sat down at the table. I'm like, oh, it's so nice to meet you. It was a blind date. I'm like, mm, this is gonna be fun, you know, whatever. And he's like, so do you think other couples? Couples are staring at us, <laughs> and I'm like, couples. Yeah, that's not good. He, Weird. I think he went too quickly. Yeah, he yeah, got yeah. real attached. I'm sorry I did that, but it was a blind date. <laughs> <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> but you went in a blind date. Do you you do that? You let your friends set you up? With... I did. It, these were a long time ago. I, All right. I yeah, I'm d I wouldn't blind date now, but you know, whatever. No, I don't think you could do that now. Well, no, that would be weird. Yeah, because he would say, I'm going know. on a blind date with Jennifer Love Jewett, and they go, well, I know her. I've seen her the... I know who she is. It wouldn't be blind. It's a one-sided blind date. Yeah. Yeah. So what's, what's, your, what's your plans now? What are you working on now? You've just done the uh, confessions of a sociopathic so. social climber. What the heck is that? <laughs> um, it's a really fun movie. It's airing on Oxygen, March 12th. And um, I basically... Oxygen is the Oprah network, isn't yes. it? Yes. Have you met Oprah? I haven't. Oh, I really would like to meet her. very powerful. She is very powerful. <laughs> I've heard, anyway. I, I'm, I'm scared of Oprah. Are you a bit scared you of Oprah? You are? A little bit. Why? She's very powerful. <laughs> She makes all your wildest dreams come true. With Does Tina she? Turner and things like that. Yeah. You know, I've just had a light bulb moment. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Wait, now tell me quickly what the movie's about. Oh, anyway, so I play sort of this um, Paris Hilton-esque girl who... Um... <laughs> well, yeah. no, I don't mean that as an insult. She's fantastic. Yeah. No, it's just that's the only... I don't... Oh, all right, oh, on I'm with sorry, the disclaimer. Paris. Anyway. Do you know um, Paris Hilton? I don't, uh, but I'm do not going to know her now. to the Hiltons, I apologize. She watches um, all the time. Yeah, so. hey, anyway, um, no, so I play this sort of socialite girl who um, has all of her priorities wrong in her life, basically, and thinks that being at the best party and the best clothes and the best guy and everything is the way to do it. I'm really digging myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know Woo, this is me. It's fantastic. Watch it. Um, it's on oxygen, stop. oxygen, March yeah. 12th. Yeah, just March watch it 12th. anyway, please. Confessions of a sociopathic wow. social player. Jennifer Love to do it. Please welcome the beautiful Jennifer Love Hewitt, everybody. Look at you. Look, you look gorgeous. I know what I'm thankful for. <laughs> Come on, you're a lovely ensemble. Thank you. You got there. Is that boots with a zip up the front? It is, yeah. I'm okay about that. Are you? Uh, yeah. I'm really okay. Want to unzip them? Yeah. I don't need a cheering Go section. Ahead. All right. Go ahead. Have you got socks on? Yeah, it feels. All right, now, okay. Is that enough? I enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually, I think I'm gonna have to see a doctor now. <laughs> Just my mom will kill me. Sorry about no, that. Yeah, I think she might be more concerned about the. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. How was your Thanksgiving? Fantastic. What do you do for Thanksgiving? I just eat a lot. Really? Yeah. I can hardly believe that. <laughs> That's why the dress is do, roomy. Do you cook? Um, I do. I'm learning to cook. Yeah, really? I make the mashed potatoes. Well, that's a start. Which is important. It's very important. I come from a country where potatoes are the staple diet. Nice. We eat nothing but potatoes. Do you like them creamy or lumpy? Ooh, I'll go any way you want to go. <laughs> any, any way at all. That's uh, it's entirely your call. I don't know if I'm creeping you out, but I'm creeping me out. I, oh, no. Nah, oh. Listen, the Ghost Whisper is a huge hit. It's oh, a fantastic thanks. success. Are you, have you had any ghosts on the set? Is it creepy? Did stuff happen? Yeah, we've had we've had ghosts show up on our footage, actually. No way. Yeah, we had. No a... way, girl. Seriously. Really? Yep. Uh huh. That's right. Um, no, we've had we've had uh, we did a scene where we were filming at like the staircase, and there were these little boys who were kind of burning in an orphanage. Well depressing it's a drama yeah, 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 yeah and um and a woman showed up at the bottom of the stairs when we played the footage back and oh my god yeah what was she doing she was just standing there did she did she have her head shot and resume <laughs> no. i'm a ghost this is my agent's telephone number <laughs> no she was just there yeah all right. i mean i didn't see her 
Now, do, do you believe in all of that kind of stuff? Are you a ghostly person? I think it's fascinating, mm -hmm. sure. And I think I have to believe in it more than most because I'm the ghost whisperer. Now, what, what does that mean, a ghost whisperer? You can hear them talking. I can. I can hear them and see them and help them with their unfinished business. It's mm. very special. Isn't that just schizophrenia, Jennifer? <laughs> Probably. I am an actress, so that's possible. Yeah. <laughs> now, where, where, you're not from L.A., are you? You're from, uh, I'm from Texas. Texas. Yeah. Ooh, that's a lovely state, isn't it? It's big. It is. Yeah, there, uh, was that a Texan in here tonight? Yeah, there were like two. <laughs> there were two. They're like, yeah. Yeah. You, Texas. Well, is, I mean, the Texans is, are very uh, tough, aren't they? I think they're friendly. No, no, no. No, I don't think they're tough. They're big I think, people. Yes, giant people. Giants. Big and, and friendly and like to eat barbecue and... Yeah. Ride bulls and things. Have you have you ever ridden a bull? Do you yeah. do the rodeo or anything? <laughs> no. Are you not interested in going out and getting, you know, strapping yourself onto a cow and just going nuts? <laughs> Why not? Do you do the way. mechanical bull? You know that they have that in the. No, I am accident prone, so I don't. Really? Yeah. How does that manifest itself then in the accident prone department? Well, you had an accident. I heard you had an accident on the on the set. Is I, that right? I did. Yeah. What happened? We were at a. I was at a read through um, where you sit around and kind of read through the next episode, and I decided to crawl under a table because I'm small. Stop. Why were you crawling under the table? <laughs> a little. Yeah. Just a little. I'm very accident prone. Yeah. <laughs> I start at 9 a.m. Yeah, that's no. right. Um, I, I don't know why I crawled under the table. I just thought it would be faster, and I'm little, so I can do things like that. Yeah. And it was a stupid Faster thing to do. than what? Then walking all the way around. <laughs> I don't You were really, really drunk. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I went under the table and when I came back through, um, our, uh, our the guy on our show who <laughs> Joe Dishner, I'm supposed to say his name. Joe he, Joe, he, Joe Dishner. Joe Dishner. Yes. All right. He um he hit me in the head with a metal chair. He pushed it in. And you want me to find this? Yes. Yeah, I'll find this. Punk. I'll bring him yeah, here. Yeah, bring him here. I'll take... knock him down. Yeah, and so or, I or had somebody this... will. I'm European. I don't do much of that. But somebody will knock him down. So I had this huge, like, alien thing, like, come up on my head, and it was filled with blood, and it was disgusting, and then you know it was bruised for a while, and. Wow. Yeah. Did they write it into the show like you were possessed? No. No. In fact. <laughs> ghost in my head um, yeah. no no they were just really they actually sent me flowers um, the day that it happened and they just put on the card thank God you have bangs because we were able to cover, to cover your bang. all of my bruising with is, my bangs. You, is the bruise still there no but I have a little vein thing here that was never on my face before that's oh, permanently yeah, there yeah, yeah. gosh yeah. you're really lovely aren't you up close oh. <laughs> thank you oh I touched your knee sorry. I know you did I know Excuse you did I'm sorry. I counted the seconds you were there <laughs> Sorry. So listen, you're from Texas and now you're in Hollywood. You feel at home here because you've been here a long time, haven't you? I do. Yeah, I think it's, um, you know, it's fun. It takes some adjusting, but I, but yeah. I think it's cool, sure. Yeah? yeah. Where do you, where do you, what do you do in Hollywood? How do you fill your day in this godforsaken hell? <laughs> yeah. I just work a lot. Um, I'm pretty boring. Well, I, yeah. I like to cook. I, I'm learning to knit. Knit? Yes. This is how sad I am. I sit at home at night when I get in from work and I knit. I learn how to knit and I watch The Golden Girls or Benny Hill. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think that's bad. You know, I'm on at 12:30. If you if you ever you know, you I find me. Right. We have to take a break. We'll be right back. And Jennifer, love you, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back, my cheeky wee monkeys, etc. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm here with Jennifer Love Hewitt. Now, listen. That's my nickname. What's Sorry your nickname? To interrupt. Monkey. Really? Yeah. Why, why do people call you so monkey? I feel like you're talking to me when you say cheeky wee monkey. I am. Thank you. I'm saying it right now. Why are you called monkey? You don't look like a monkey. Well, I can do a monkey face. Oh, well, go you on then. See? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank wow. you. Wow. <laughs> hey, yeah. they should work that into the ghost whisperer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm possessed by a monkey. <laughs> And my friends say that I have the personality of a monkey. Really? Is that I, a compliment? Yes, it is. Do you, <laughs> do you enjoy bananas? I do. Do you have a tire on a rope in your backyard? And you like to... <laughs> no, I don't. Do you pick lice from other people? No, but I have back hair, which is weird. You do not no, have I back don't. hair. No, I don't. I'm just kidding. No. I don't. Look, I don't. See? All right. No back hair. No, no, no. Well, a little bit. Oh. No. No, you don't. That's you don't have back. Nice. No, listen. No, you don't have back hair. Thank I, you. I want to establish don't send that. Send that out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so what? What are you doing in Hollywood? Are you? Are you? Are you dating? Are you seeing a young gentleman friend? 
<laughs> Why does that question always make me laugh? No, I'm just, I'm, I'm just working a lot. Oh, really? It's hard to date. Why? I would imagine it'd be quite easy for you, quite frankly. No, you know what? It's really not. Really? Why? It's really not. Because I, I am always like the little sister or the, the sweet best friend. I'm never like the, like the hot desired girl. Excuse me, audience? <laughs> no, I'm just not. You know, I... I, I you just are. Cut yeah. it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I just... I, you know, I, guys don't ask me out that often. Really? No. I, again, I find that hard to believe. Well, <laughs> You must have gone out on some dates in L.A. You must well, have yeah, I have dated. Yeah? How, yeah? how was it? It's been enjoyable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't hated it. Yeah? yeah. What was the, the worst date you've ever been on? Worst date I've ever been on? Um, I went on a date with a guy who yelled at me a lot. What? Yeah, about my food and why I was eating it and why I wanted... Because I, here's the thing. I'm from Texas, so I like my steak really well done. Like, yeah. basically burnt. Right. And, and I like it to eat it with ketchup. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, but when you're in a steak restaurant, they're like, oh, it has to be pure in the juices of the steak and, you know, all you're of this. You're eating the damn he, steak and you're paying for it. Do it whatever well, you want. That's what I think. But he yelled at me about the way that I ate my steak and he said I was not sophisticated. Up. Really? Yeah. He, did this guy think he was going to get lucky on this day? <laughs> I, I mean, this, this I don't is know. just... I mean, what kind of mind it is that? It was really strange. And then I had a guy give me Altoids at the very beginning of the night for when we made out later. And then he did this. Oh, 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 that's bad. I was like, yeah. that, no. That happens yeah. in movies where the guy goes like The guy goes like that, yeah. yeah. Uh-uh, You no. know, that, that's as bad as the two-finger salute. Oh, yeah, scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's not yeah. good. You, you know what I want to talk to you about is the, your music career as well. Because okay. you're still doing that, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Now, wait, you, don't you sell a lot of records in Japan? Yes. Why are the Japanese so crazy for you? Because they don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I don't know. <laughs> well, oh, it's that drinking thing again. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I'll sing some songs in Japanese. Well, Domo arigato, Mr. Well, Roboto. Uh, uh, no, I don't know why it does well there, but I'm glad that it does well somewhere. Do you go and tour there? Do you, uh, like, yeah. you play the Enormo Dome and, and people... I don't There's know a place that... called the Enormo Dome? There might be. Yeah, the Enormo Dome in Tokyo. I, I've played it. That is my New Year's resolution. Next year, I am performing at the Enormo Dome. The Enor I'll be there. I'll open for you, baby. Yeah, I'll That'll be a great show between the two. The Japanese will go nuts for it. I'll go out and do stand-up with a Scottish accent for the Japanese, and then you come on and sing Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto. Perfect. You can't beat that show. Thank you so much for coming in. Happy Thanksgiving. Jennifer, love you, everybody. We'll be right back. Oh, please welcome Jennifer Love Hewitt, everybody. Right, I feel a little vulnerable tonight, actually. Why? I don't know. I just do, you know. Oh. Do things, things are happening in my life. Is it that time of the month? Yeah. 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 I'm on my moon. <laughs> are yeah, you? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's my first one. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. I was like, come on. <laughs> Can Late we move on with this? How yes, are you? Please. How are you? Good. You, you alright? I'm fine. What's yeah. been going on? Are you doing the how's the ghost whisperer thing? Is it's, it? It's good. We're on hiatus now and yeah. and uh, yeah, and we have our big season finale on Friday. So yeah, we're that, that looked about a little that. was it was that without Yeah, Ooh, it's that's very funny. it's very sad. Yeah, it looks know? a bit sad. Do you get very sad doing it? I do. It, it, it gets to me sometimes, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, because, you know, I, I'm Do ghosts ever come around and try and actually get on the show? <laughs> like real ghosts? We do have ghost things happen to us. Well, yeah. of course. You Lights can't have a... move and all kinds of things happen. Lights, equipment moves? Can equipment you get some of these ghosts move. to come and work on this show so <laughs> nothing moves here? Yes, I'll see if I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> and how are you? Has it, has it been picked up for next year? Do you it know? has. Oh, it has? Back. Oh, congratulations. Well done. It's always, it's a funny time of year. Yeah. It's a funny time of year. People, I don't know if people know this, but, you know, this time of year, everybody finds out if their show has been picked up for next year. That's the I way know, it is on it's TV. it's very nerve-wracking. Yeah, but you, we you're We got in. lucky, so yeah. we're coming back to well, scare people some more. Thanks. And, and you, so that you get another year of employment. Another year, I know. <laughs> more ghosts and more ghosts, lots of yeah, things yeah, yeah. going on, yeah. Yeah. Do you ever think of maybe you've had enough ghosts? Uh, no, 
Oh, All right, good. Well, that's thing. good because yeah. then you still because you've got another year to fill with ghostliness. I don't, I don't like the running around so much that they make me do on the they show. They make that's, you run around I mean, a bit. Constantly running. Yeah. And you know, and I'm doing it in very precarious tops, and that makes things interesting. Yeah, you're not and, wrong. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, you know... It's and do you guys play practical jokes on each other? On I, can I say something? What? I love pranks. And I know you were talking about how you didn't like them. Yeah. I love to play well, pranks. Well, I'm glad because your ass is glued to that seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> That's not very... <laughs> No, nice. it's, it's not. It's not. But oh, if only I'd have thought. Oh, that would yeah. have been really funny, actually. Yeah. Or, or if you go back to your dressing room and there's a flaming bag outside the room. Don't That's try. Not nice. Do you really? Do you I play do. pranks on people? I did a horrible one. I I did a, a record and it came out and. Our A and R guy came on the road with us for What's like a week. What's A and R? What's, that's the guy who works at the record company. Yeah, he basically goes out and pitches you to radio and stuff like that. Right. And so he came, and so my guitar player and I, um, we were only staying one night in this really fancy hotel in Boston. So to embarrass him, because he was a family man and everything, hmm. we charged four hundred dollars worth of porn to his Whoa. to his hotel bill Whoa. with titles and everything, because we knew that they sent his a copy of his bill to his boss back at the record company. <laughs> But, but it says on the thing, titles won't appear on your bill, apparently. <laughs> we made them put titles on oh, there. Oh, you did? <laughs> like Forrest Hump and stuff like that. <laughs> it was great. It was oh really, really funny. <laughs> yeah, but I think the only... Th I mean, don't you have to be there to see it happen to him? Or do you just enjoy the fact that Oh, no, going? we came down that morning and he was fighting and screaming with the lady at the desk for oh like 15 God. minutes. And he's like, he goes, I didn't, I didn't. And we told her we, to just keep saying, sir, this is your problem and you have issues. And, you know, it's okay. And so this sweet woman went along with it. It was genius. It, it is genius. It is. It we'll great. talk some more. We have to take a break. Okay. We'll be right back with Jennifer Love Hewitt, everybody. I'm sorry, I can't speak. I've just seen you doing that Barbie thing. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> hey, is that that dance thing? Can you still can you still do that? I can, but I will not. <laughs> I it's the only way you're going to get your ass off the super glued seat. You're going to have. To. I will take the cushion with me. Thank you. Um, I was 12. That's so embarrassing and just not nice. No, it's it's not. <laughs> It's not nice. What age were you when you started being in show business then? I was 10. Really? Yeah. What, what were you doing at 10? Well, Barbie commercials and things. Really? Yeah. Really? I was the Barbie girl for two years. And my job was just to like show up in various commercials and be like, we're into Barbie and just, you know, smile. You know, there's, there's a lot of people around West Hollywood still shouting, we're <laughs> yeah. into Barbie. <laughs> a lot of them a little older than 10 as yeah. well. Hey, I, I have a bone to pick with you. Okay. Pick it. Um, didn't you have a party recently? I did have a party recently. Yes, oh, I did. Oh, I, I can't remember it. Was I there? I can't no. remember. No. Oh, that's because I, I wasn't invited. <laughs> it, was, it was called a pantymonium party, and it was, um, it was for panties. It was for Hanes. And I, I work for Hanes, and we had a party celebrating their um, one-year anniversary Is, of their new perfect panties. Are we talking about a, laun panty. a lingerie party? It was, yes, and there were models in underwear, and I just didn't think that it was your kind of thing. <laughs> You know, I, I really hate you. <laughs> oh, but they were 12 and needed to eat more. You know, really? I was all the, the very, very thick. Can Could I, I just come and look, though? <laughs> no, they were actually really beautiful girls. And bless their hearts, they had to, like, stand out in the middle of this room full of people in their tiny little underwear. Again, so not something you'd not be interested in. Not me at all. No. And, um, and right afterwards, my best friend and I, I was like, I was like, we're so not models. Let's go to In-N-Out. And so yeah, we yeah, went yeah. to In-N-Out Burger after standing in front of these people who were, like, this big, literally. And they were like... Perfect. And we were like hamburgers, double double, fries, milkshake. Animal works. style. You have animal style. What is animal style? I don't know. I always ask for it. That doesn't sound good. Well, no, when you go to. Is it like bleeding? And no, no, no. no. You ask for animal style. I don't know why. Somebody said if you're really in the know in Hollywood, you ask for animal style. I don't know what it means. Animal I think it means style. they spit on your food or something. But. <laughs> But it means it sounds like you're in the know. But the bread, I, I think animal style's without bread. And what's the point of a hamburger without bread? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> but there's always bread when I get it. 
So, uh, but then do again... Do you have an animal style? I do have an animal style without well, bread. Well, yours is messed up. No, I, I have an animal style <laughs> with bread. That's what everybody's doing now, baby. They're doing animal style with bread. You're so hip. I'm so hip, I have no idea what I'm talking about. That's, that's how hip I am. I can't stay you current. You are in the know. I am yeah. in the know. I can't believe you didn't invite me to the lodge. Oh, well, I'm sorry. You know what, though? I'm not good at those parties. You're right. No. I get very embarrassed. I think I'm very kind it of was, Scottish. It would have been uncomfortable. Yeah. And it was just, you know, all really cute women, like half naked in their underwear and everything. Which, on paper, sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> but in reality, probably wasn't I that. still hate you! <laughs> I can't believe you didn't invite me to that. I'll send you some perfect panties and you can try them on. How do you know I'm not wearing them now? <laughs> I don't want no, to I, know. I don't, I don't, no, I well, don't. Well, it's, so, but you weren't walking around in your underwear, were you? No. Ah, well, I don't want to be there. <laughs> You are yeah. a delight. Thank you so Thank much for coming for back on this. Oh, no, any any time, and I really mean that. Jennifer Love Hewitt, everybody. We were right back. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. <laughs> my first guest tonight is a lovely young woman. She's in the hit show Ghost Whisperer. It's Fridays at eight here on CBS. Take a look at this. I am so creeped out right now. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Please welcome Jennifer Love Hewitt, everybody. <laughs> oh, Jennifer, Jennifer! How are you, darling? I'm really good. You look lovely. Thank you, you look, so much. Uh, well, thank you That's so nice. much for being on our show. Well, thanks for having me. Well, thanks for being just a sweetie pie. <laughs> Well, no, thank you. No, thank you. You know what? Hollywood really is like this all the time, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Isn't it so like... I heard something exciting. What did you hear? Did you get a tattoo? I did get a tattoo. Oh. You can't tame me. I'm so excited. Yeah, I got a tattoo. I really want one. You want a tattoo? I do, but I'm it too really afraid. Hurts. It, is it? It, it hurts, yeah, but oh. it's a good art. What it's is a... your tattoo of? It's, a, it's my family crest, and it's right here on my That's shoulder. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congrats. Thank you very much indeed. I'm now an outlaw. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what, what are you going to get? What kind of tattoo are you going to get? I don't know. I don't know. And my mom kind of made this deal with me when right. I was like 18 and I started wanting a tattoo that if I got one, she was going to go get the same thing mm. in the same place, which totally creeps me out because I don't want my mom to have like a heart on her butt cheek, you know? So, <laughs> that's not good. Is that, is that what you were going to well, get? Well, that's what I was thinking for a while. But now, you know, it creeps me I'm going to get out. that now, now that you Are mentioned it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a heart on my butt cheek. That's unfortunate. Yeah, a heart on one, and then maybe a, a, a heart, and then the ace of clubs on the other butt cheek. <laughs> I wouldn't. No, I no. don't know. The thing is, the, the temptation when you get one is you think, well, I'm just going to use my body like a doodle pad from now on. <laughs> I'm going to have the whole thing done. So don't. They're very addictive. I, I think they are. That's what I've heard from people who have them. Is yeah. They're like, no, I got one, and then I had to have another one, and I wanted another one. You found that very funny over there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the one person that's been laughing all night. <laughs> the rest of them, I don't know. They're into they're tattoos. Doing? They're surly. He's uh, in a kilt. What? Are you in a kilt? There's a fellow over there in the kilt. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. I Aren't you lovely? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've seen it before, of course. Uh, <laughs> hey, are you dating a Scotsman? Is I this am, true? Yeah. You mad fool! <laughs> What's his name? His name's Ross. Ross from Scotland. I know him. <laughs> How lovely. Yeah, he's really? great. Have you been over there to meet the Scots? I haven't oh, yet. Right. When I'm are you very over? excited. Hopefully in the summer, maybe. I think yeah, I fun. think you should go. Summer's the time to go for sure. <laughs> Ask the guy in the kilt over there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's the type of. Well, that's, what part of Scotland is he from? He's um, right outside Glasgow, Greenock, I think. Greenock. Yeah. Whoa, Greenock. Yeah. Greenock. Oh yeah, no Greenock. So Greenock's yeah. where they, uh, they they do shipbuilding in Greenock. Yes. Yeah. How did uh, you meet him? Um, he was on the show. Really, a ghost? Was he no, a ghost? No, he was oh, a live person. Yeah. Thank God. That would freak me out. Well, yeah. Would you ever date a ghost? I don't think so. No. no. <laughs> in real life, would you date a ghost? No. Why not? There were times in my dating life that I probably would have settled for there a ghost. Goes, yeah. But no. There's been times when no. I thought maybe I was dating a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> I've had that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not good. Not good. No. <laughs> Well, this is quite nice, you and the uh, you and the Scottish boyfriend. Yeah, I, like I thought that. you'd be pleased. I am pleased that you're going to start wearing plaid and everything. You know, no, but I do have tartan high heels, shoes, tartan. That's how you say it, right? Yeah, I know, I know how you say it. And I've gotten into soccer. You got into soccer? Soccer. Mm -hmm. You know, really, what team are you getting into? 
Oh boy. Yeah. Celtic. C oh really, Celtic? What's your team? Uh, not Celtic. What is it? <laughs> It's not, it's not, it's not what I think it is, is it? It's, what do you think it is? Is it the Rangers? It's not Rangers. Oh, no, okay, no, you're no, fine. No, 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 no. Uh, it's not Celtic or Rangers. There's it's actually, not? no, there's a team in Scotland, there's a soccer team in Scotland called Partick Thistle. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people think it's Partick Thistle nothing, is their full, their full, because they don't win anything, ever. <laughs> But I like them because they've got lovely thistle outfits. But they have Thistle in the title? <laughs> yes, Thistle, they've got Thistle in the title. That's a little girly. Stop! <laughs> if Thistle oh, is the national the flower of Scotland, day. listen, you better watch your step. You better watch your step if you're going to go over there, don't thistle you? Thistle people are going to beat me now oh, when I go yeah, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, all the, the clan Thistle will be out with the burning go torches thistles. and the... Go Thistles. <laughs> Yay, Thistles. Hey, now listen, while we're yes. on the subject, I heard rumours in the tabloids that you were pregnant. Is that true? I heard that as well. Right. And I was very excited when I found out. Right. <laughs> I really was. I was also depressed because I was having a good day, feeling really good about myself. Yeah. Apparently, I'd had too much Taco Bell. They took a photo. <laughs> and I'm seven months along. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. I can't wait. It's going to be very exciting. Can't wait to see what it is. Yeah, I... I... <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it that you're not there. Uh, I'm not. Right. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where do they get this stuff? I don't know. Yeah. I have no idea. I, I guess they took a picture of me, like in a dress and the coat, and you know it's been cold, so the coat was open and sort of made a belly-like mold. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. That's what, I have that's no what I'm going to try next time. No, I'm not fat. I've just got a belly-like <laughs> belly -like mold. mold. <laughs> My coat's open, <laughs> and I've got a belly-like mold. <laughs> We have to take a break. We'll be right back with Jennifer Love You, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back, my lovelies. I'm here with the lively, the lively Jennifer Love Hewitt. I am... Um, <laughs> I, I think that show is very scary. It's really creepy. Yeah, and they have you you have ghosts on the set. They're worried about actual real paranormal activity on the set, right? We have had a real ghost pop up in dailies. Yes, and behind the, the my shoulder. The dailies are like before the, when they yeah. just film it. They, every it. night the directors and producers sort of get to watch what we filmed that day and everything. And this sort of orb ghost like this thing is where this was before up. they send it to the yeah. pharmacy to get developed and then yes. it comes back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So it hasn't been messed with whatever. I think well, we have, a, I we have the clip. Yeah, well, let's, let's see if we have that clip. Well, you can't, well. Can you see? Can you see it because of the light? I think you can. It's over, it's, well, it's kind of there. You can't really see it. Right, it's, well. Oh, yes, you can. There it is. That sort of light thing that's moving behind Oh, me. man, that's yeah, I see it, yeah. The ghost. And when you really see it sort of blown up, you can see it turn its head and look at me. And yeah. this is during a scene where I'm actually crossing somebody over into the light, and it showed up. Oh, wow. That is scary. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. I you know, I once had a sandwich that had Bob Barker's face in it. <laughs> it was, I, it was like that, and it was like, oh, what is the average retail price of this sandwich? <laughs> Do you, are you a firm believer in all that? Do you, cause wait till you get to Scotland, there's, there's ghosts every five minutes. Really? Oh, all over the place, castles and, uh, you know, nightclubs. <laughs> I think the ghost thing is interesting. I, I haven't, I haven't actually seen one. I haven't sort of had a conversation with one like Melinda does. So it's hard for me to say that they're actually out there. But I do think that it's kind of fascinating. You don't believe in them, do you? No, no, I do believe in them. Bob I think. Parker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of, I, I go backwards and forwards. I remember when my father died. That I got uh, this guy from New York, a psychic. You know, mm -hmm. said that you know he would help me talk to my father. And I said, well, you know, my father and I didn't talk that much when he was alive. <laughs> <laughs> How, how is some guy from the Upper West Side of New York saying, uh, Robert, it's your son? <laughs> I don't think my dad would talk to him, you know? So it, it kind of, I'm, I'm skeptical about the business that sure. goes around it. I think if you have a ghost experience and you see that, like I know lots of people, I've met lots of people, especially with this show, who have had experiences where they have seen a ghost. I think once you have that, it's really, really hard to say after oh, that. Oh, sure. Yeah, I don't no, believe in it. But until then, I think it's natural to be a little skeptical. Yeah, no, I'm a little skeptical. And, and what, how do you get on? In, in your life around LA now? Because you're working all the time, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. it's actually good because I my life is pretty much just work and then sitting at home and With your Scottish hanging boyfriend. out. Yeah. yeah. Cooking and watching TV. We're addicted to American Idol right now. So. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you watch any of those yeah. shows? What, the, uh, you like the American Idol? Yeah, 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 yeah. I watch it. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. You know, they film it here. They do? They film it here on the oh. CBS lot. So all the, the fans come and wait outside and, oh, you know, a, and don't recognize me when I come around. <laughs> I'm like, hi, I'm TV Street Ferguson. They're like, oh, we don't know who you are. 
<laughs> it's all right. Listen, it's lovely to see you. Come nice back and see us anytime. Too. Go to Scotland this summer. You'll love it. It's beautiful. All right. And go thistles. All right. <laughs> Jennifer Love you, everybody. We'll be right back. that applause is for you, and partially they're just relieved that it isn't me and my own anymore. <laughs> That's good. Are you all right there? Are your feet uh, touching the ground? Are you they're not. To... I keep a, a wee thing here, actually, whenever there's... <gasps> oh, how neat. Yes. Oh, it's... thank you so yeah, much. It's, uh, yeah, it's one of those newfangled <laughs> things. Thank you. There's an... Oh, that's better. Is thank it good? Thank you so much. Yes, I appreciate it. And I like your shoes very much. Thank nice. you. They're my spicy shoes. They're quite spicy. Thank you. I mean, they wouldn't be spicy on their own, but you're in them helps. <laughs> Thank you. What about, uh, that looks quite scary, the Ghost Whisperer thing. It is the new season. It's really good. It's is it, scary. Is, do evil ghosts come in at this? Because I thought it was just like friendly ghosts that were trying to help no, people. No, there's really, there's really bad people that come after Melinda this year. So really? It's, it's good, yeah. Do you get nervous when the when the season starts? Like, you think, oh, this I'm is I'm terrified. It. I'm trying really? not to even think about the premiere. I mean, I'm really excited about it, but um, I get nervous. You know, because we've worked so hard and people have watched for two years, which is so great. Right. Um, and I just really want them to watch for a third. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. And, and the nervous. evil ghost, they'll be watching that because, you know, the, and then maybe, you know what you might need? What? A, a, a dog. If you have a dog, you, and then a van. And you go around with a van so and the dog. So we're Scooby-Doo. We're kind of like Scooby-Doo. No, no, not necessarily. A little bit. Maybe a little bit. But that's, Scooby-Doo's good. Do you like Scooby-Doo? I do, but it's a cartoon. But that's that's where they've gone wrong with it all these years. You you, you don't you think maybe or maybe a, a, some kind of parrot or a, a parrot would be great. Yeah 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 or some kind of and the parrot could cross them over instead of me. Now what does it mean when you cross them over? What does that actually mean? When it you means say? that I basically in the show I help people with their unfinished business and then I cross them over into the light. Right. So I cross them into goodness. Ah, right. So even if you got an evil ghost, you make them well, you're sort of... A... No, the evil ones get sucked underneath the ground. Ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, I don't want to... I, um... <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, you just thought of what I just thought of as well, didn't you? Let's just read for a minute. <laughs> Let's just rest. Yeah. All right. Hey! I'll yes. tell you what, Change what the about the, uh, no, I was just looking at the, the DVDs. That's, oh, that's thank a, you. Yeah, no, Please. look at that. The, are, are you thinking about ghosts there? Are you going, no, no, no. I was, I was thinking about them. Who would you like to talk to if you, like, if, it, if there was, like, a dead ghost? No, you know, a ghost. <laughs> you have to pretty much be dead. That kind of goes hand in hand. Well, would a dead ghost, well, on, the, on this it says, look, the dead are alive. Right. But, now, you know they're not. I do. Right, okay. I do. It took me the first season to realize that, but I've got it now. Right. Now, if you could mm -hmm. talk to though, someone who was really dead and had been dead for a long time, who would it be? Uh, probably my grandpa. Yeah? Yeah, I called him Papa, and he was really funny and great, and I would like to know what his whole take is on the heaven thing. Yeah. I think that would be neat. What about someone uh, from history? Um... Not that, you're, you, you, that your grandpa isn't, of course. <laughs> I don't mean to say that your grandpa's history, but I just mean that you're... you're... You know what I mean. You know, like someone like. I feel like we should have a moment of silence. All right. <laughs> yeah, obviously you weren't here during the monologue. We had about five of them then. I thought it was really funny. Really? You know what I like is the email song. What? Oh yes, Always do you like? To answer an yeah, email. Well, let's play it for you then. Do we have it? Yeah. Well, let's have we got the. Always time to answer an email. Boom, cha cha. Email. Yeah. Yeah. Bumble. Bumble, yeah. I love that. You like it? I it took a year to. We, <laughs> we spent the entire budget for this season on that. that I was, it was worth it. Yeah, you think so? Totally worth it, yeah. You, would you like to, at any point, send me an email? 
Sure. And then we'll play that song, and then you'll be complete. That. Right, right, right. I okay. would love that. And I want one of the little whoosh machines, those things. That's no, cool you can't too. have that. No? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay. That can be, I can. Now, what happens in this year? I want to know what happens this year in the ghost. Do you meet a ghost and fall in love with a ghost, maybe? No, I don't. Why not? <laughs> because I'm married on this show, and that would be a little too Th much. That would be a love triangle between you and your husband on the show, <laughs> and then your ghostly lover who comes to you at night. But I think. Interesting ideas for our show. I took a lot of drugs. <laughs> I'm getting that sense. Um, I. <laughs> do you ever do you ever get people uh, write to you? Uh, that, like you know, and they say they say, "Dear Jennifer Love yes. Hewitt," do they say, "I." I'm a ghost. Do they pretend to be ghosts? Can you cross me over? Do they ever do that? They don't ever to pretend to be ghosts. No, yeah. but I do have little kids ask me a lot if Casper's going to be on the show. Oh, yeah. Which I think is so cute. Yeah, little yeah. Little Casper. It, would you think Casper will be on the show? I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to reach him. Casper, Casper and, and your d ghostly dog. Did I say the dog should be a ghost as well? I... <laughs> well, we have a ghost dog. You have a ghost I dog? I have a ghost dog. No, you don't. Homer, who I've been trying to cross over into the light forever, but I don't know how to cross over animals. Uh, yeah. Well, Do you know? How to cross over animals? Yeah. I know how to make animals cross. <laughs> Take their bonios away. That's what you do. You want to make a dog cross? Take his bonios away. The bonio? Bonios, yes. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a yeah. No, the bonios. It's a delicious treat for the dogs. It's fantastic. It's kind of like it's like the dog version of Hot Pockets. I can't believe you haven't come across bonios. They're fantastic. You know, I gotta be honest. Every now and again, I sneak one for myself. They're delicious. And to keep my hair glossy. That Personal. All right. No, I don't. <laughs> do you have a dog? Do you have a real Bonio? dog? Bonio, really? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't I that's know. So funny. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't you know. You should have your own show. No, you're no, that's too late for that. <laughs> too late for that. Oh, you're too really late. Funny. God bless you. Do you. Do you have a dog in your own life? I do. What, what kind of dog do you have? <laughs> Charles Cavalier Spaniel. Oh, pardon me! A King Charles Cavalier Spaniel. Now, yes. is he a. Is that the name of the breed or he's just a King Charles Spaniel with a kind of cavalier attitude? Is that what it is? No, that's the actual name of the breed. And now, what do they look like? Do they, are they big dogs? Are they small dogs? Do they, do they wear shoes? What? I don't know why I find you so funny right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She looks like um, sort of like Lady from Lady and the Tramp. Oh, nice, nice, yeah. nice. And She's you, adorable. You should get another dog and they could have spaghetti. <laughs> I, I will do that. Maybe yeah. the dog that's going to be on Ghost Whisper in the van. Oh, there is going to be a dog then. <laughs> oh, no, there's not. <laughs> <laughs> no. That seems a shame, you know, really. Yeah. Save that for season four. Okay, I'll right, do right, that. Right, 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 right. It, yeah. Now, they, they, they say, they say right, on the show, your, your character's married. But right. in real life, you're not married, but you are, you are dating a Scotsman. Yes, I am. How's that going? It's great. Is he still Scottish? He is still, Right, yeah. right, right, right. I've actually given it up. Have you? No, I'll, I'll keep being Scottish <laughs> as, as long as I'm breathing, yeah, no, I suppose. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, have you been over to Scotland? I haven't yet. I can't haven't? wait to go. No, I can't wait to go. Oh, really? I'm really excited, yeah. yeah. You could probably hold off. Probably... <laughs> Do you like to play golf? No, but I've, I, well, I, I, I say no because I've never tried, but I would like to learn how to play golf. Or what about uh, drinking whiskey to excess? Do you enjoy that? <laughs> no, I don't, but I think he does. Yeah, well, <laughs> what you want to do is, you want to, he's Scottish. You want to, uh, you want to practice your golf and drink whiskey to excess and get a dog on your show. These are my three pieces of advice this time. I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I love it when you're here because you always listen. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, love you. Everybody, we're right back.
I'm very concerned. What happened to your foot? I was I was chasing after a ghost in the ghost one. <laughs> really? Is that did it happen on the set? Yeah, yeah. You were shooting for CBS mm -hmm. while you got the injury? Yeah. Hello, <laughs> baby. <laughs> That's right. That's fantastic. Yeah. You're minted. How long is this going to be on? Uh, about 10 days. <clears throat> oh, that's yeah. a shame. But look, you can pump air into it. It's very exciting. <laughs> it's like those sneakers you used to get that you could pump air into. Would you like to try? Here, you I'll just bet I it. would. Here's uh. deflated. Go ahead. Look at that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Love it. No, I can't. <laughs> Does that, get, does that get tighter and tighter? It does. It? it actually helps. So, like, when your foot swells, you can, you know... I have a similar device at home for a completely different... Very inappropriate. Yeah. That's all I can say. That's my job. Hey, yeah. I use the same tape to hold my dress. Like, oh, right you, uh, that you the use tape the... tape like from the, your tie. Right. Yeah, yeah, you know what it, tape it? You know what they call it? Toupee tape. Yes. They use it for holding on toupees. Check yeah. it out. <laughs> Yes, it's called top stick. Top, top, is it? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, you know everything about bits of tape and yeah. holding things together, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means either. But I know that if I sit long enough, it'll start to sound a bit dirty. Yeah. So that's, how is it? Now you're going. The Ghost Whisperer is back on, now, it is. right? After the writer's strike, they've yes. written up the ghosts again. Yeah. There's been a host of other Whisperer uh, shows. There's the Dog Whisperer, the Horse Whisperer, there's the Cat Whisperer, <laughs> um, Shark Whisperer on the Discovery. The Shark Show. Whisperer. The Shark Whisperer. Yeah, he, he goes down and he whispers to sharks. What does he whisper? He's like, don't eat me. Uh, <laughs> Because wow. you've got a thing about sharks. I hate sharks. Really? Yeah, I mean, who doesn't, really? It's sort of... I don't. I love sharks. You love sharks. Well, I'm not gay for sharks or anything, but I'm like, I, I like sharks. So you would just get in a big tank and frolic around with sharks? I swum with sharks in Hawaii. What? Yeah, white tip... Uh, white tip? <laughs> white tip reef sharks. I went down and I... Uh, yeah, and I, I... I stroked their little tips. <laughs> Pumped up their little boot. Are you always like this? Uh, all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Actually, I'm not. Once I leave, you know, the show's yeah. over, I go you home and cry. Oh, yeah. oh. I cry oh, and eat at the same time. That's a good look. You ever done that? Oh. Ben and Jerry, you're the only ones that understand me. I just got the craziest th this email sent to me about sharks. Really? And it's a true story. This 15-year-old kid went with his, um, his family, and they were deep sea diving or something in, in Australia. Anyway, and he went to take a picture underwater of his mom and dad being right. cute in their scuba gear, you know, like, you know, looking at fish, whatever. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, he starts to panic under the water. And the parents are like, what is he panicking about? And he swims. He figures out to swim very, very quickly up to the surface, get on the boat and everything. And his parents followed because, of course, it's their kid, and they wanted to find out what was wrong. They get back to the hotel yes. like probably 45 minutes later and they start looking at the photographs and yeah. the reason he was panicking is behind his parents was like a 400 pound shark like literally this far away from them swimming behind them and the kids saved their lives because he figured out that if he panicked underwater they were going to stop and be like why are you panicking underwater what's going on you know and then he, so he figured out to like sweat that was insensitive sorry um, but they figured out how to like swim up to the boat and he saved their lives well did they have to get back to the hotel before these i mean because <laughs> Presumably when the kid gets on the boat, he could say, there was a 400 pound shark. Well, and they'd be exactly. like, we don't believe you. Well, I have photographic <laughs> proof. We'll wait five days and when we get it back from the thing, then you'll see. I don't know, I guess he just wanted to show them on the computer. That's, I don't know. That is horrifying. Is a 400 pound shark though is not that big a shark. Well, maybe it was 4,000 pounds. It was big in the yeah, picture. Yeah, you know, everything looks bigger underwater though. <laughs> I'm not being what rude, it just does. It's you? why I stand in a pool all summer. I... No, it does 10%, everything looks 10% bigger underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, every time I come here, I look like a fool because I spend the whole time just laughing at you. <laughs> I don't say anything interesting, I just laugh. What are you talking the about? You just time. told the most amazing <laughs> shark story ever. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> you mustn't be hard on yourself. Thank you.
Now listen, you, are, you, are you now engaged to your Scotsman? You're yes, engaged, engaged to him now? Engaged. Mm -hmm. And, and have you, has he taken you over to Scotland yet? Not yet. Not yet? I don't know what that means. Well, I don't know what it means either. <laughs> I think it means he likes you. <laughs> It's, it's lovely to have you back it's on nice the show, and, and 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 thanks for coming back, and thanks for the shark uh, tale. You know, I, I, I really love it. And it's, I'm glad to see you back with the ghosts and your foot and it's all that. Jennifer Love Thank Hewitt, everybody. You. Over there. Get started. Just I'm going to be ripping rip. like crazy. <laughs> I'm getting a little funky tonight. Oh, nice. No, not really. <laughs> hey, how's your foot? You had a it's, sore foot the last time you were here. It's good. Look, there it is. It's yeah, nice. it's all right. It? <laughs> it's better. And is it better all the way up your leg? It is. Yes, thank you. <laughs> well. That's that's awesome. It's quite a question. Yeah. Thank you. Well, you know, I like to know that your legs are fine. They are. Thank you. They've always been fine with me. Oh. <laughs> How are, oh, well, I, I don't mean to concentrate on your legs, there's other areas that I enjoy immensely as well. What about the uh, Ghost Whisperer show? How's that going? It's, it looks very exciting. It's going great, yeah. thank What you. is it, like 25 years it's been on now? What's that? <laughs> 25. 25 yeah. years? <laughs> yes. Well, that must be a record yeah. now. That's as long as Andy Rooney or something, isn't it? <laughs> It's doing well. We're in our fourth season. Fourth, fourth yeah. season, mm -hmm. yeah. Have you had Andy Rooney on? I haven't, no. <laughs> I've become fascinated with him, Andy Why? Rooney. Why? Tell me. Well, because he gets so irate about nothing at all. Mm. Like, I was watching him the other night and he got, he had some kitchen implements, like the stuff he'd found in his kitchen. He's going, why do I have these in my house? I'm like, well, you're, gonna, you're the only one that can answer that question, Andy. But this is primetime TV and he's like, oh, I've got crazy crap in my kitchen. And I'm like, you're... Barking. Do you never watch Andy? And I get a little upset in my kitchen too, so I really? can understand. Do you cook? Are you a big... I do. I love to cook. Do you really? What do you make? I do. I um, I love to make shrimp scampi, and shrimp I make a really scampi. good filet mignon and mashed potatoes. That's proper food. Yes. Yes, I like that. So you're not one of them Hollywood vegetarians. No, then. no. <laughs> now, what is the shrimp scampi? I thought scampi was separate from shrimp. I thought a scampi was <laughs> I thought a scampi was like a scampi scampered across the ocean and a shrimp was just like no. a little no? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> scampi is the way that the shrimp is prepared and that special sauce with the pasta and the thing. Oh. I think. <laughs> is it are you, well it might be that. I do do you watch the, the food shows on the television? I love that. I sometimes I right. do, yeah. What, I like what? the Iron Chef. You know, everybody watches that, but I unfortunately don't speak Japanese. <laughs> you have a huge career in Japan, don't you? I used to, yeah. Do you know anymore? I don't know. I haven't checked in in a while. Oh, are, you, <laughs> are you the Japanese Sanjaya? You know really? what? I really? think so. Really? No, you should go in and keep it up. I, I enjoy it there. I enjoy it yeah. there. I really do. It's like nice. Their, uh, have you the, been? Yeah, no, no. You no. haven't? No, you should no. go. Tokyo's I've, great. I've got to be here. It's a, well... <laughs> To at Tokyo, I, I'd love to, I'd love to go to Japan. You should go. I can't it's, it's it. a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I think you'd enjoy it. Really? Yeah. Do you enjoy the raw fish? Um, some of it. I'm very picky when it comes to sushi. You're not an adventurous eater. You don't eat no. the uh, the the oily octopus no. poison no. blow dart. No, fish. the jellyfish <laughs> stuff. Yeah no, yeah. no, they tried to give me that when I was there, and I was. Like, they tried no. to give everyone that, apparently. Yeah. 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 No, you got to watch. I that. was in Thailand once, and they tried to feed me grub worms. And blood clot soup. They were like, it's good for your digestion. No, no, blood clot soup, I won't hear a word against. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> In Scotland, they make... Uh, That's well, they, what I've heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called a black pudding. Blood, <laughs> blood pudding it is. It's basically, it's, it's uh, a sausage made out of blood. Blood yeah. sausage, in fact. No, thanks. What's wrong with you? I thought you weren't one of them vegetarians. <laughs> I'm not, but I'm not a 
I don't eat blood. That's Everyone's just... doing it. It's the new thing. It's the... No, it's the new diet in Hollywood since that HBO did that vampire show. Everybody's gone crazy. I just saw that did show. You it's like terrifying. It? It's pretty scary. It's really scary. Do you know what I think's an extra good part of it? The, the, you know the, the girl that plays the, the kind of... Yes. Suki? Yes. Right. Well... You know she has a vampire boyfriend? Yes. And in real life, that's her real boyfriend. That's what I thought. But he's not a vampire. He's not really. <laughs> he's just an actor, pretending to be a vampire. But for a minute there, I was like... <gasps> I love that they serve the different kinds of blood in that show in beer bottles. Yeah. That's my favorite thing about that show. And there's a vampire bar. And they're like, yeah, we're all going to the vampire bar. Let's go. Hang on. I think it might be a, an allegory or a metaphor for something. You think? Nah. <laughs> nah, not at all. Now listen, what, what happens on the uh, on the ghost uh, whispering show uh, this year? Uh, oh, really? we've got big stuff. Oh, really? Nothing that I can tell you. Oh, great. But really, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. It's we uh, we are doing our biggest storyline that we've ever done on the show, and I think it's going to shock people. It's going to be really, really good. So you should is just there, watch. Is there is there nudity? <laughs> <laughs> nudity from beyond the grave. So, you know. Sure. Yes, sure. Awesome. Yeah. I had a dream once. <laughs> Dream and the I, don't, big isn't banana. that amazing? That's the technology now. They can actually have a clip of your dream. I mean, who knew about that? That you know, who I, cell phones. That's what I blame. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you have a cell phone? Uh, I do. Do you do you text people? Do you go I OMG? Do. OMG. I, I love it. What? The LOL, laugh out loud. BTW is the new one, by the way. All oh, right. Yeah. BLT. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a... <laughs> Do you use that stuff? I, I can't. I've got big sausagey fingers. And, uh, yeah. My mom actually used it the other day. It was really funny. She was like, oh, and G. And I was like, Mom. <laughs> I'm like, Mom. I don't think you want to be saying that. And it was really funny. It really made now, me laugh. Now, let me ask you this question, America's uh, wholesome, perky sweetheart. What does O M G mean? It means, oh, my foolish golly. Ah! And yeah. that's what makes you... Broadcastable every time. <laughs> the lovely Jennifer, love you, everybody. We'll be right back. Lovely to see you. I haven't seen you in quite some time. It's nice to see you as well. Well, it's lovely to see you. And you look very nice in your red dress. Thank you. Yes, and your Thank lovely you. shoes. Have you got Thank shoes you. on? Yes. yes. Ah, there you are. Big hey, tall ones. look at those. I know. They're new. They're they're they are exciting. new. Yeah, they're, uh, <laughs> they're quite uh, dominatrix. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Do you like to do, do you like to do a bit of that? You um, know? I've never really tried it. Oh, you should. Well, now that I have the shoes, you well, know. Well, you've got the shoes, and <laughs> I've been a bit naughty, oh. so. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's quite the offer. Thank you. Well, you know, if, if you ever need to, you know, beat up a European, I'm around. <laughs> Yeah, with it. You directed the Ghost Whisperer. I now. did. Does that mean you get more money? <laughs> no, not really. But it was a great opportunity. It was a lot of well, fun. Why is it a great opportunity if you don't get any more money? It just sounds <laughs> like you're, they're, they're doing what they do to me here. They just make you do two jobs and they don't pay you twice. Pretty much. Yeah. No, I got a little bit extra money. But it was it was fun. I enjoyed it. Really? You get to boss, you get to boss all the other actors around. I did. I'm kind of bossy by nature anyway. So but it was hence natural. The shoes. Hence yes, the shoes. yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> Watch. Um, anyway. Don't tease me. Don't tease me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, that was disturbing. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, you couldn't uh, help yourself. I you were enjoying yourself. Where? You? Where? You? Well, you talked about it, and there yeah. we came. Um, anyway, yeah, no, directing. Wow, focus. It was good. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Really? And did the other actors behave well with you, or did they behave badly? You know because... what? They were very nice to oh. me. I am tonight. You know what? I, I've got to be honest with you. One of my ankles is itchy. Is it? Yeah, I've got to scratch it. What does it mean when your ankles itchy? You know when your nose is itchy, it means you're angry. Yeah. And when your uh, other parts of you are itchy, it means you're <laughs> naughty. Do you have but a rash of some sort? I don't have a rash. Oh, no, that's no, good. no. I might have a rash. You want to have a look? I'll have a look. Let me see. No, no, I can't. Are you a doc? <laughs> Let me see. No, you're a doc. You're a ghost Do you whisperer. Do you have ringworm? 
No, I, you know what I, <laughs> in my ankle? Can you get ringworm in your ankle? I don't know. I may have it. Maybe I've been so naughty I've got ringworm in my ankle. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no, hi. Hi. So, <laughs> no, the, uh, the uh, director and the other actors, they all yeah. behaved very well. They did. They right. did. We had one funny thing happen, though, is that we were filming... I wish you'd have brought it here. <laughs> we, we were filming in a cemetery. That's not the funny part. But we were filming in a cemetery, and we, I had all these, these um, lake spirits sort of dressed up, like, very scary. And, Zombies? And, yes, yeah, sort of zombie-ish. Anyway, they were dressed up, and they were all sitting on low chairs, like, behind the tombstones, eating their lunch, <laughs> just, like, having a break, because we were filming in the cemetery. And these people came to visit their family and four of our ghosts stood up from behind the tombstone. <laughs> and the security guard from the place comes running in and he's like, I need to speak to somebody right now. And he's like, you have got to get those ghosts out of the cemetery right now. And this woman like full on went into a fit of like, I've seen it, I've seen it, they're coming, they're coming. And she freaked out, it was great. That's fun. Yeah. You know, it's... Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> It's Very almost funny. like the plot of a Scooby-Doo that I saw. <laughs> a little bit. It, it's a little bit, a isn't little it? Bit. The old Uncle Silas <laughs> wanted, he was using fake zombies to scare people away from the cemetery so that he could open it up as an amusement park or something. It was, it was funny. Do you like Scooby-Doo? I do like Scooby-Doo. Yeah? I sang the theme song to Scooby-Doo when I was like 14. But did anyone record it or you just sang it? <laughs> Home. No, I did. I recorded and it. You re and you remember? Oh, you did record it? Yeah. Oh, for, for what? It was on the cartoon. Like one of the, not like the older cartoon, but like a new version. Oh, with Scrappy Doo. Yeah, Scrappy Doo. I that's hate what it was. Scrappy Doo. Oh, well, I'm glad I brought it up. No, I can't. I, Scooby Doo is fine, but Scrappy Doo is Scooby Doo's nephew, apparently, right? But, well, I've got dogs. They don't keep in touch like that. That's rubbish. <laughs> keep in touch with their extended family. You're lucky, you're lucky if you get a Christmas card from your own dog. <laughs> well, Scrappy-Doo is not fond of you either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just going to keep doing that. Don't you have a sound effect or something? No, I don't have the sound out? effect machine anymore. Why we not? lost. Well, they used it for all the effects on Ghost Whisperer. They take all the money from here and they give it to you. I have an offer for you, by the way. Oh, really? For me? Well, we've talked about it before, possibly. Is it, is it the, uh, you do the whip and hit me? <laughs> <laughs> no, but we've talked about it before, like maybe you coming on the show at some point. On the Ghost Whisperer show? Well, I have an official part for you in our season finale, and I was wondering if you would come and be on the show with me. Yeah, all right. Yeah. 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 Deal? Yeah. All right. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. What, uh, what, what kind of a part is it then? What do, what do I play? Well, Am I a ghost? A zombie, maybe? I think you're a ghost. I'd like to be a ghost. Yeah, you can be a ghost. Can I be a sexy ghost that ravishes you? <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've never done that before. Well, so. there you are then, season finale. <laughs> hey, Hello. what's that sexy ghost doing? Hello. <laughs> Lucky I'm wearing my shoes, you know. <laughs> do I have to wear these shoes in the episode? You don't have to wear them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think? I would like that. It, it, the part's not written then, yeah. It's not officially written, no. But it is It is going to be great. And yes, you can play a ghost. And if you want to be a sexy ghost, you can be a sexy uh, well, or, ghost. Or some kind of flesh-eating zombie. Do you like zombies? Yeah, well, I do like zombies because they intrigue me. Because I'll tell you why. Okay. You get your zombies who are flesh-eating, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I've seen multiple movies flesh-eating zombies. <laughs> not one movie have I seen a zombie poop. That. Where do they put all the flesh? Because they don't get fatter. <laughs> it's a fair question. <laughs> Would you, uh, so do you, are you asking to play a pooping zombie or are you asking to play a flesh-eating zombie? Which one? I don't know. I can't decide. <laughs> about it All right, I'll, and I'll, let me know i'll think about it maybe i don't you don't want pooping zombies on your show I, it might be inappropriate at eight o'clock is it eight o'clock <laughs> yeah. oh well i'll be a tea drinking zombie okay. then yeah okay oh what about a vampire can it be a vampire oh i love vampires i like vampires have too. you seen twilight yes <laughs> I don't want to 
Honestly, it's about Why? vampires that don't. Oh, they can so go out during sexy, the. Oh, sexy though. I don't want my vampires sexy. I want them scary. Why? What's the point? Vampires are hot. Don't you think? What, you like the idea of a yeah. man coming into your room at night and drinking your blood? Well, if you're gonna die, do you want to be stabbed or do you want to be died while somebody hot is kissing your neck? Hello? <laughs> make an hello. excellent point. You make an excellent point. I mean, point. if you're gonna choose, hello, yeah, please, but, go for it, right here. I thought this Twilight, I will if you do that one more time. Sorry. What is the... Uh, Aren't the Twilight uh, vampires, don't, aren't they vegetarians or something? And, uh... Well, yes, Edward fights it, but it's her, it's the smell of her neck. Oh, it's the smell of her neck that gets them all excited. And he tries not to, and he's in love with her every movement and face. This is a vampire we're oh, talking about, yes. right? Yes, yes. And he's just... like a big old girl Ed to me. I don't get it. <laughs> Romantic. Yeah, yeah. He's very romantic, and Bella's a great. Oh, it's you have to see it. You no, know, I, I don't think it's for Please. me. I, I'm a middle-aged white guy. I'm Come not going to go and see Twilight. It'd be creepy. People are like, why is that old guy in the theater sitting next to people? <laughs> well, rent it on DVD. And well, watch I, it. I, I, I can't. I've got to watch Ratatouille again. Uh, I love that movie. Ratatouille. Love. That I have movie. to see it all the time. My son loves it. My brother it. loves that yeah. movie. Yeah. Where is your brother? Good. <laughs> I don't want to say. He's a grown-up. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. He watches Ratatouille on his own. Why are you just saying? He's 38. 38? <laughs> he's going to kill me. Does he have kids? <laughs> no. What? <laughs> oh, my God. He's going to tell I, I'm not safe to go home. He's yeah. going to kill me. <laughs> you want to get a sexy vampire to protect you. We're out of time, but listen, uh, congratulations on the uh, directorial Thank debut. You. And uh, I would love to be on the show as anything Thank you, you choose. And congratulations on your wedding. Thanks a lot. I yeah. hope you mean that insincerely. <laughs> <laughs> I think you do a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. The very lovely Jennifer love you, everybody. We'll be right back. Yeah, you're looking <laughs> fabulous. Are you is, is, are you pregnant on the Ghost Whisperer show? Yes. Are you going to have a ghost baby? Yes. You got pregnant by a ghost? <laughs> no. No, by a real person. <laughs> <laughs> Did they show that on the show? Well, I mean, not the I actual... Used, I see, I'm, I'm tv the last season, so... They, didn't, they didn't show it, but they, they show that I got pregnant, yes. I, by, you know, what? It's usually... The, by the husband. You start kissing, and then they cut to shots of trains yeah. going through tunnels and, you know, <laughs> buildings and stuff. Yeah. Did you do that? Because you direct them now. Yes. Did you do that? Um, well, we... I, I actually... I direct the season premiere, and, um, and I had to direct my own birth, which was very odd. <laughs> 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 what is that glass? <laughs> hey, you ever uh, drink from the snake cup? I think anyone <laughs> seen it. <laughs> oh, it's good, isn't it? That is. Girls love this. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, I touched the snake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've missed you. Oh, it's nice to see you. How are things going? Do you have a nice summer? Did you I go did. anywhere? I did. I did. I traveled a little bit and um, and kind of hung out. I um, I traveled a little bit with my boyfriend. And oh, you could out with Jamie Kennedy. Yes, and he's, he was doing his funny. comedy stuff. Yeah. So I was traveling with him a bit, and I just kind of hung out. Do you out. get up on stage and, and interrupt him, and he says, "I'm trying to sing a song. Stop interrupting me!" And you go, "Well, it's a crazy." You know, like a little... Sometimes he does bring me up there. It's nerve wracking. Really? I don't know. I don't know how comedians do it. It's scary. I don't know how you guys do. Well, that. tough childhood, really, probably. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> yeah, you're hard. right. Yeah. <laughs> Drink from the cup of forgetfulness. <laughs> yeah. Really, you, you don't fancy doing some stand-up comedy? No, I'm no, I'm terrified to speak in public. <laughs> You'll be all right here then. Uh, but this doesn't feel quite as nerve-wracking. It's but not. It's not I, really I, I public, nervous. to be honest. <laughs> it's some people who didn't get into Dancing with the Stars and. <laughs> Yeah, I get nervous. I get nervous. So no, I'm good. I'm good. Just I'm good. Just where did you go then with directing. him? Where, where, what parts of the country did you see? Oh, really fancy places. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> no, we went to like Edmonton. Edmonton in Canada? Canada? Yeah. I've been there. We stayed at this um, at this hotel. I stayed there. <laughs> called in the Fantasy Island Hotel. Have you been there? I know it sounds it sounds bad. <laughs> 
And we stayed in the um, in the Polynesian room, and then <laughs> it's getting worse. No, no, it's getting better. It's get in fact, I was about to ask you to start slowing it down, <laughs> slowing it down. And they have like these huge like lava rock tubs, and your bed is like this big sailboat, and there's a sky, and there was like What's a. What's wrong with it? This is awesome. <laughs> and there was a parrot in the corner. It was really real parrot. No, oh. <laughs> no, like some weird fake parrot, and it's in the middle of a mall, and they have like glow in the dark, like. <laughs> it's the have oddest you, have situation. Have you been doing a little bit of it? I really haven't. But it was, it was really nice. He's going to be like, yeah, babe, really sell the fancy places I take him. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was fun. It sounds fantastic. I stayed in a kind of a, a, a hotel that's perfectly acceptable <laughs> and probably advertises on CBS. But they, no, I stayed in a very kind of normal hotel. I didn't know that. Did they have a vampire room? They have, they have, um, I don't know if they have a vampire. I see, I'm into all the vampires. But I love vampires. Do you, you do? Oh, I'm obsessed oh, with the, vampires. You the, the, see, I don't like all the new ones, the True Bloods oh. and uh, all that. Doesn't work for me. Oh. Oh. Oh, me either. You do, you like them. You like them. I see, see, I like my vampires to be blood sucking and evil. I like don't like Anne all the. Rice vampires. Yeah, well, I'm talking Bram Stoker vampires. Oh. You know, like, ah, no. <laughs> not those new ones that are like, I really respect you as a woman. <laughs> That, I mean, really, is that a vampire? This is, this is like a hairdresser to me. <laughs> they are a little girly now, aren't oh, they? I mean, come on. Yeah, well, it works. For who? <laughs> For me. Do really? Does it, do you get do you I get Jamie it. to dress up as a vampire, chase you around? <laughs> in the Polynesian room yeah, with yeah. the parrot in the corner. I'm coming to get you <laughs> with my comedy stylings. <laughs> I like these. Yeah, that's vampire thing, isn't it? <laughs> I always think it must be very easy to spot a vampire yeah. when they're trying to, because they just walk around like that. <laughs> like when you see the Nosferatus out yes. at the mall or something, and go, he's very nice, but you know, he's always pointing, pointing. <laughs> <laughs> so you would be an evil vampire? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'd have your bodice ripped open and it'd be at your neck in a heartbeat. <laughs> That's why I like vampires. Yeah, yeah, but the, the new really vampires don't do that. They're like, I love you from beyond the grave. Edward, yeah. Edward watches Bella sleep in Twilight. He watches her sleep. Does he? Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah, see, vampires shouldn't watch you sleep. They should drink your blood. <laughs> well, he does that later, but first he watches her sleep. It's yeah. romantic, don't you think? Does Jamie yeah. watch you sleep? I don't think so. Yeah, he I think does, he's actually. Usually yeah, no, he does. <laughs> I've seen it on YouTube. He films it. <laughs> what a perv. No, I know. He's, I don't know if that's true. Is that true? <laughs> you, you could put it up. It'd get a lot of hits on the YouTube. You go on the YouTube? I don't. You don't? I find it very disturbing. Yeah, no, they've got. I, I, what I find disturbing, like, I can get like a thousand hits for something on this show, and then like a pigeon with its foot stuck in a piece of gum. <laughs> It's like 25 million hits. I have something, though, if you like the internet, that you have to see. I don't like the internet. Oh. All right, but I'll see it anyway. What is it, the internet? <laughs> there is this girl, this is going to sound very inappropriate, but there's this girl, but whatever. There's this girl named Felix who just got added to the Cirque du Soleil Sumanity show, and she's like one of the world's like number one strippers. Um, and she does like, uh, not a stripper, but she does pole dancing. That's what it is. You had and me a stripper, right? You shouldn't have qualified. No, you have to see what she does. It's amazing. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just what? sharing because we're talking about the internet. Yeah, yeah. And you have have to see it. It's unbelievable. What does she do? What does she do? Look at feel. She. I. I can't even explain it. She's a pole dancing in this show, and she like literally goes up the pole. And at one point, I'm pretty sure she's balancing on just her shoulder blade. Like it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. But it's amazing. You will love it. <laughs> Are you excited that I came here to share that with you? <laughs> you really will find it fascinating. I, I'm, I'm excited. You I'm just see containing it. myself. Containing. <laughs> Try to be appropriate. You'll like it. So it's, it's always good to see you. It's great to see you. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> you have to come back again then next time. I'm never coming back. Why? <laughs> why you're you never gonna have me back. I've why? got a Felix story. No, we love. In fact, we are gonna find that on YouTube. You and should watch we it. We are gonna find out. We're gonna watch it. You bet you're we gonna are. Love it. Gee Willikers, we're gonna watch it. You're gonna love it. I know, because she balances on her shoulder. <laughs> You're going to love it more than Mean Vampires, I swear. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Bye, uh, my 
I, oh, I nearly went over there on my bad leg. Did you see that? I was like, oh, oh, oh. <sighs> oh, I'm in pain, you know. Guess who my name uh, Here's a clue to who my first guest is. All right, but I'm not telling you who. <laughs> she stars in The Ghost Whisperer, which is an awesome show right here on CBS. And... <laughs> I see. All right. Uh, she's author of uh, a new book. Uh, it's a New York Times bestseller. And that's not easy. Uh, the Day I Shot Cupid. It's in stores now. Uh, we thought, because we don't have a, kind of a clip of a book, but we, some, we did something very special for, uh, for Jennifer. Well, take a look at this. And now, Michael Clark Duncan performs a reading from Jennifer Love Hewitt's book, The Day I Shot Cupid. Let's go out and find the love we always wanted. But this time, with our feet on the ground, our inner sparkle as the arrows, and the belief that love does happen for all of us. By the way, if you see a man in diapers, keep walking. was very insistent. He called us up. He said, I've just read the book. I'm very excited about it. And he wanted to read things. I, I'm very flattered. I want a copy of that. That's very cool. Well, you can have a copy of Thank it because, you. in fact, if you go on to the CBS website. Oh. <laughs> Have a website? <laughs> oh, well, apparently they have a website. Nice I'm sure plug. it's. I'm sure it's on there. You look sensational. Thank you. I love this. It's kind of sexy, scary. <laughs> it is. You know, sexy, I, scary. Well, it is. It's kind of like you know what it is. It's kind of like sexy widow who really poisoned the husband and is actually at the funeral. <laughs> Exactly what I was is going for. Is that you, what you're going yes, for? Like yes. I secretly uh -huh. poisoned him, yeah. and now I'm using his money to yeah. enjoy myself. Uh -huh. This is what I shot Cupid in. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know what? How you know that is because the shoes give it away. I wore these for you. You could. Uh, you well, love your shoes. You could wear these for me anytime you like. There. <laughs> I do. It's not just. It depends. It's, see, people think I just like women's shoes, and that's not true. I don't wear them anymore. Right. <laughs> you used it depends to. on the woman in the shoes. Right. And so, uh -huh. you've had your hair done. I have. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's nice. I love it. Do you approve? I do. Yeah. Well, I, I think you. you're very beautiful. So I Thank think you. you know you could probably just you know put crap in your hair and I'd be like, oh, that's nice. I'm gonna try that next time. What think. putting crap? In your yeah. Hair? Mm -hmm. No. Could don't be my do next, that. My next move. No, it would go against your <laughs> lovely vanilla smell. <laughs> well. You're in a very romantic mood tonight. You know, I think it's because I'm looking for different forms of exercise because of my leg. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, now tell me, how are things good? Now what is this? Is this an autobiography or is this uh, dating tips for girls or it's what? It's sort of dating tips for girls and guys actually. Really? And was, yeah, my dating life has been written about so much over the years. No, I, I haven't seen anything like that. Just a little, like that. Yeah. just a little. And so I decided maybe I would write about it this time and, and sort of say how I really felt about things. Do they ever get it right when they write about you? No. They never do, huh? Sometimes the places are correct, or, you know, maybe the person, <laughs> but very rarely. Yeah, because I, I was just talking earlier on about how much I admired entertainment journalism and how much... Uh... Yeah. Not so much. Well, it's not so much that it's journalism, if they would report things, but it's speculation yes. about people's lives based on absolutely nothing. Like, yes. you take a photograph of someone, like, if there's a photograph of us, right? Yeah. And, like, you're there, and then someone goes, Craig, and I go... Like yeah. And someone takes a photograph of that, and then they print, oh, they're, they're not talking because he's looking in he's the other direction. Yeah, 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 the woman, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that's right. exactly. That I was, the craziest thing that I've ever heard is that I was dating Burt Reynolds. <laughs> that, that's no. not true? No. <laughs> I thought you and Bart were really happy. But here's the funny thing is that he was in the restaurant having food. Mm -hmm. I was in he the loves restaurant food. having oh, food. Bart loves food. Sometimes and he comes together. around my house and, and goes through the trash. That's no, odd. No, no. I have a raccoon that does that. Do you really? Yeah. Are you dating that raccoon? <laughs> No. Um, so, Burt Reynolds was in the restaurant having food? I, I was having food in the restaurant, and somehow they, they put us together having food in the restaurant. Have you ever had food with Burt Reynolds? I have not. 
Have you ever met him? I have not. See, because if you'd met him, you'd be a little more kind of, I would be like, happy to date Burt Reynolds. You think? Yeah. Because I, I met Burt Reynolds and I'm straight, but I'm like, I'll go gay for you, Burt. <laughs> Interesting. Because he's just, you just want to get lost in that hair. <laughs> I'm looking for different forms of exercise. Goes in my leg. Yeah, that's basically what I'm saying. Yeah. What do you do for exercise? Because look at you, my well, lord. Well, thanks. I try to, um, I, I'm starting to run a lot. Remember to stretch first. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I'm, I'm trying that. Oh, and I just got the ab circle off of TV. Have you seen this? No, it it's sounds amazing. like an infomercial, it though. It is. It is, and it's this big disc thing that you, like, put your knee... Well, the position's odd. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. You might want to consider this with your leg. No, no, no. I, I, I'm thinking about it, but I'm thinking about it for you. Yeah. I, and you swish around, it's really, it's good now that I Sounds think about it. Sounds very good, yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. You, you do this? I uh, do. Do you wear that little dress when you're on I the episode? I don't, but I wear the shoes. Ah, nice, yeah. 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 Are you a sucker for the <laughs> infomercials then? Do you buy stuff I from TV? I love it, really? I love it. Well, yeah. Sometimes. Have you got a vacuum cleaner? Proper amount of suction. No, I don't. <laughs> Just got the um the, the slap it chop thing. Slap chop. Slap chop. Oh, that's Love awesome. That yeah. Thing. I like the slap chop because it's sold by that English guy. Look, this could do anything. Yeah. <laughs> this this was the very slap chop that defeated Hitler. You know. It was all... <laughs> Yeah, no, it's I good. I love yeah, that. I like and that. the sham wow. Sham wow, clean anything. Wow, all. yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Sham wow, wow. Yeah. yeah. Love it. You want to get one of them vacuum cleaners with the proper amount of suction, though. That's all. Right. Okay. They, I got one. You did? Yeah. It's got one ball. <laughs> I had one of those too. <laughs> what page is that on then? Seventy-five. Uh, Seventy-five. <laughs> Have you ever have you ever been have you ever been romantically involved with a gentleman and got a surprise similar to that? A one ball surprise? Well, well not a one ball surprise, but oh. I kinda of like, oh this is lovely, oh this is lovely. What the hell is this? I I think when you I think when you first see a man naked you have that reaction. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah. Yeah, no. Well, well, but usually that's it's not pretty far. You don't run into in the no, middle. No, 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 no. Yes. But it's no. not something you want right away. I mean, if you if you're in a relationship with a guy, there should be you know discreet use of t-shirts and shorts, yeah. or, you know, and yeah. so that. But wait until you know that yeah. you're you're in love with them before yeah, you actually. Yeah, you don't want to bring that thing out in daylight. Right no, away. no. And it's not really even that, it's all the other bits and pieces. It's a, and, yeah, yeah. And the, the, the wind catches it and it's... <laughs> wind catches it? The that beach. ain't the wind, girl! <laughs> That's those little shoes and the thing, the ab circle thing, that's what that is. <laughs> oh, sorry, honey, the wind oh. got my pee pee. <laughs> Talked about this. Yeah, yeah, me too. Hey, we're out of time though. <laughs> oh, are we? Yeah, yeah, we are. Actually. Oh, let's end on that note. That's yeah. good for everything. Well, no, we got we got Michael to do another reading from oh, your you. Oh, you did? Yes. Fantastic. He oh, he's really loved. You want to see it? Yes. Please. All right, Jennifer, love you, everybody. <laughs> and now he performs another reading from Jennifer Love Hewitt's book, The Day I Shot Cupid. It's cool to rely on modern means to get things rolling. But if we don't stop the electronic loving too far, won't. Text me all you want. But after three days, I need a phone call and some face-to-face -face loving. Sparkly for you. Well, you're sparkly, all right. You look adorable. And <laughs> may you. I say, you smell fantastic. Thank you. Uh, it's something that you're doing different because when yes. you were here before, not that you smell badly when you were here before. Yeah, good way to start. I, I showered for you today, so that's good. No, it's more than that. That's more than soap. There's some kind of, do you have your own fragrance on the market now? I don't. You should. I was thinking about doing that. Yeah, because like Paris Hilton and all these girls have it, and you're like, why 
why do you want to smell like them? Smell like you. Exactly. Lovely. Thank you very much. Not that I'm casting aspersions on the smell of Paris. She's been here. And, <laughs> yeah. Hey, the... Uh, this, wow. Man, look at your ass in the back of this thing. Thank right here. you. Thanks. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good right there. It's mine. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. That's not the same Thank as the you. thing we just looked at. No, though. no, that's where I play a hooker. Oh, uh, <laughs> I should probably hang on to this one for a while. Hey. You play a hooker in the movie? I do, you? yeah. I play a mom who, who turns um, to prostitution ah. to feed her family. Right. Comedy. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And then you but do the Betty other Betty White one. is not in Betty that White, movie. Betty White, no. No, she's, she's in The Lost Valentine, which now, is just a nice, sweet movie. Now, what happens in The Lost Valentine? Movie. Does someone lose their Valentine? Because I don't know if I could take that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very sad movie. But really? it's very... She's amazing. But it's um, it's a story about a woman who basically for over 20 years has been waiting for her soldier husband to come back. And she waits for him at a train station every single Valentine's Day. Ah. And I play a reporter who gets um, put on that story. And I sort of fall in love with Betty White. And then I end up falling in love with her grandson and we sort of repeat their love story oh, modern day so that's that, it's you sweet. don't give away the ending oh <laughs> and then there's this then huge stuff, explosion and, and i won't tell happens. you anymore yeah, no, no, that's good. No. but betty's here betty's here tomorrow isn't she yes. yeah i love betty she's been she's here. amazing oh, yeah i do like her I she's love saucy her. though she is saucy yeah yeah she's the first day when naughty. we were in the trailer she didn't say anything to me for like the first few minutes and she sort of walked in she sat in a chair and then just like looking dead straight ahead she goes so What's it like not to be the pretty one in the trailer anymore? Whoa! <laughs> I loved it. That's, I loved it. That's exactly what she said to me is when it? I first met her. Yeah. So weird. It must be your thing. It is um, her thing. <laughs> no, she's, she's, awesome. she's a she's very nice woman. Yeah. Also smells delightful. Yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah. She does. Yeah, is that where you got your idea for the... Betty gave me some of her perfume, yes. Really? Mm -hmm. No. No, I just randomly found this one today in my bathroom, and I'm it's, glad you like it. It's really nice. I mean, I'm going to make it my 211 cent. 211? Two, two 2011. Oh, 2011, 211. yes. 211, you know what I mean. I, it's that kind of perfume. You're sitting right there, you get the sparkly dress on, you smell like you do, you look like you do. I'm kind of like, what your year cup? is it? I love this will you, cup. Will you, yeah, go ahead. Fondle it. No, away, I just want right? to hold it. <laughs> I'm holding a snake. Okay. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you do you have a snake? No, I know. You should. Do you have any pets? I have dogs. Hmm. Yeah. Would you? You want me to get a snake? I'd like you to get a snake. Okay. Okay. Big long snake. <laughs> Bit of dancing with it, bit of uh, <laughs> dancing around with a big snake, like Sam like Hyde did it in that movie. Yeah, the... and Britney Spears did it. Oh, Britney Spears did yeah. it as well. Yeah, I think she was just doing it, and they caught her. <laughs> She's like, oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> And I'm you, gonna wear this perfume every day. You've really helped me. No, thanks. What, about, <laughs> what kind of dog do you have? Then? I have a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel, and I have a Chihuahua. Now, when you say a Cavalier Spaniel, do you mean, is that a character description of the Spaniel? <laughs> yes. Yeah, she's very Cavalier. Is she very kind of like? Oh. <laughs> she's I don't have time for a boon. <laughs> Really? No, she's not. She's right. just that's just her name. It's a very long name, but she's so cute. She looks like Lady from Lady and the Tramp. Oh, that's she's nice. She's adorable. But so she she's the lady in your little outfit then? Yes. Mm, which would make you. <laughs> <laughs> and who else? I'm sorry, I stole that from Betty White. What is the uh <laughs> And what's the other dog? Chihuahua. A Chihuahua? Is that yeah. one? That's one of them little... Uh, yeah, he's little. He's yeah. cute. Do you carry him around in a little pouch? No, I don't. I don't. Why not? It's Australia Day. <laughs> oh, yeah. Happy Australia oh, Day. Oh, yeah. Happy Australia Day to you. Yeah. Have you been to Australia? I have been to Australia. I love it. Have you had Tim Tams? Maybe. <laughs> chocolate biscuit from Australia? Oh, no. I have had them. Yes. Yeah, so chocolate biscuit I've had. I didn't call them Tim Tams, though. They're I... called Tim Tams in Australia, and they have a campaign that if you eat Tim Tams, you don't need a boyfriend because they're orgasmic. <laughs> it's true. And you take... Here, I'll tell... Oh, I, I wish we had one I could show you, but... Well, I've got some kangaroos. <laughs> I got some, uh, I shouldn't hang them on the TARDIS. I, I got those kangaroo testicles there that Carrie Fisher gave me. That's that, it. I can't show you how to, how to eat that like a Tim Tam, but, um... I don't know 
don't know if anybody's going to watch my movie. No, no, no. <laughs> no well, you, you eat a Tim Tam. Yeah, so you have to, you take a little bite off of both ends, you stick it in a cup of coffee, you suck the coffee through, and then you flip it over and put it in your mouth, and it melts in your mouth. Okay, let's orgasmic. do that again a little slower. bit slower. <laughs> Take a bite off both ends, uh -huh. stick it in coffee. Yeah, this is where we slow right down, right about here. All right, <laughs> all, right. all right, all right, all right. Well, that's good. What are you doing? You should this? try some. They're amazing. Well, no, I, I will, and yeah. I look forward to some Tim Tams from... Australia. Our Australian viewer. Yes. Bruce. Bruce, send us some Tim Tams, would you? <laughs> what were you doing down in Australia? Making a film? Um, I was. I did a record down there. I was singing for a while, and oh, so I really? did a record there. Yeah. Oh, I liked it down there. What part of Australia were you? I was in Sydney and Melbourne. It was great. That's where I was. Loved it. Yeah, it was good. Great did, people. You didn't get to Adelaide, did you? No. Adelaide's got a very good strip club. <laughs> I'll check that out. Apparently. Next. <laughs> yeah, no. It's, I, I don't normally go, but the, you yeah. know, I was with Drew Carey. I've done pole dancing. You've done pole. I've dance? done those pole dancing classes. Have you heard about those? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You can go to these classes and you pole dance and you learn how to pole dance and it's supposed to be good for your figure. I see. That's the only stripper knowledge I have for you. I that's don't it. know if I would want to dance around a pole that smelled of ass and desperation. I... But then again... But then again... I'm, I'm in no position to throw stones here. <laughs> That's quite a thing to do. To do yeah, the, it's did a you, big were you ever deal tempted now. to just go rogue stripping? No. Okay. No, I was not. Well, no. if you ever are tempted, give me a shot. I'll, uh, <laughs> okay. I'll come around. And, I'll let hey, you in know. fact, look, let's get you going right now. Look, I got some dollars. Sorry. Whoa. Well, that was about to happen. <laughs> Why do, you, why do you have that cash? Uh, in case guests aren't being cooperative, then I go, does this refresh your memory? <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's good. I'm the I huggy bear of late night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, at, we're out of time, so we are You're counting getting... out a lot of money right now. Yeah, I'm going to give you this money. Are you? Yeah. It's That's for very nice I want you, the next time you're in Australia, to pick me up a packet of Tim Tams. I will, and yeah. I'll, I'll bring them back to you. All right, then. There you are. That's about, uh, this is American dollars. This is about 12 bucks. I think that's worth about three Australian dollars. That's perfect. Yeah, okay. That's enough. All right, there you go. Thank you. Jennifer, love you, everybody. Where we're at. This is lifetime talent? <laughs> I feel someone's playing me for a fool. Please welcome the adorable Jennifer Love Hewitt, everybody. Jennifer Love Hewitt. seen you in ages. I know, it's really nice to see you. It's lovely to see you. It's better for me, let me tell you. <laughs> you, you look great. You look Thank so you. Uh, healthy. Thank you. Thanks so much. I feel healthy. You look very healthy indeed. Uh, have you been Have you been working out at all? I have a lot. Yeah. Yes. You, well, because in the show you take your clothes off a lot, clearly. Constantly. I, yes. I, I wonder, do you have any DVD copies of it? Right? <laughs> yes, I do, actually. Yeah, yes. I, I quite like to see. I'm having trouble keeping my eyes in one place, Jennifer. Why? Uh, Why is that? Well, because I, I, they keep falling. <laughs> After all this time, I haven't seen you for all this time, and, I, and I'm not looking at you at all. <laughs> I haven't seen you for ages, and I'm like, hey, what's up? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Stick your hair in your cleavage. That'll really make it okay. That's not sexy at yeah. all. Yeah. Here, hello. Oh, no, that's... Hi. No, you're squishing them and, together. Oh. It's not... <laughs> Now, um, how are things? You play... What do you... You play a... a I play sexy a massage, happy maybe? ending specialist. Wow. That's, yeah, that's classy. Really, no, I think it's I I think it's an essential uh, service. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, it did is. You do, did you? Did this is probably? Did you do any research at all? No, no, no. <laughs> mm, no. So it, it's all just. It's all just. I just see how it goes on that day with that client. 
Fox. <laughs> Would you like to be on the show? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because I really wanted to be on the Ghost Whisperer, but the, yeah, no, the, this, the, is the, this is the one I really want <laughs> to be on. Because yeah. yeah. I want to be like, uh. Yeah. But I would be doing the same thing on this. I'd be like, uh, on this. <laughs> Except it's appropriate for you to look there on our well, show. Well, yes, yeah, I would only know. be doing it in an acting capacity. 100%. Did you write this show? No. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm like, do 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 happy endings, cleavage. No. No. Somebody else, right. No, somebody else is writing it. Right, I'm but, just but, doing it. You, well, you're you're doing a great job. Hey, uh, thank you. Uh, it's fantastic. And, thank and, you. Wait, did you get embarrassed doing that kind of scene? It's weird sometimes. Yeah. I mean, it's it's. There are days when I actually feel a little bit like a real hooker, maybe. No. <laughs> I, but I think everyone in show business feels like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's I mean, an actress hooker. Yeah, sort yeah. Of the same I mean, thing. it's the same. Oh. As, you know, talk. I'm like, oh, enjoy the products advertised. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but there's definitely, like, some days I'll have, like, six massages in a day, and so I'll sort of go change into lingerie, come back, and there's a different guy there. I'm like, well, where did the, okay, well, I guess we're done with that scene. He's gone, and so then there's a new guy, and he's like, hey, nice to meet you, and I'm, nice to meet you, too, and then I take my top off, and it's, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. This is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> Wow, that's a very yeah. wow, that's a very odd thing. I don't know though. I mean, I mean, you're very kind of uh, wholesome. Because, I mean, it must, it's lifetime. There can't be. It, it is you know? no. And and to be fair, she it was not the job she was searching for. Obviously, she I play a single mom with two right. kids who's a Texas mom and was the next beauty queen and all these things. And ah. she sort of falls on hard times, and that's why she has to end up going and working there. And she just happens to be really good at it. <laughs> Yeah, let's yeah. just stay there for yeah. a minute. <laughs> <laughs> You're from Texas, aren't you? I am. Oh, well, what I part am. of Texas are you from? Uh, I was born in Waco, mm -hmm. and I grew up in Colleen, Texas. Colleen? Yes, which is where the Fort Hood Army base is. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. I'm I glad saw you the did. I'm just, I'm, no, I'm glad. And you. it made me go, ooh, ooh, you know how they, yeah. And you just go, ooh, ooh, yeah. just as much as you damn like, yeah. young lady. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you, do you like the disco music? I really, I do like disco music. Really? Yes, do you? You know, I, n n not no? so much. I, I, I kind of, uh, I, the era that I was kind of, you know, uh, getting involved yeah. in music, uh, disco was the enemy. Right. Uh, but um, you liked it? I did like it. I see. I did. <laughs> You're the first person that I've ever met in my life that's ever said, yeah, I actually like disco. Everyone else is like, oh, I was never into it. I'm like, really? No, there's I really lot. like it. Yeah, okay. I think there's something very saucy and perky about it. <laughs> saucy and perky are definitely words in my head right now, but I... I don't know how you can... Oh, look, we're out of time. What do you fancy? Do you want a mouth organ, an awkward pause, or do you want uh, the go for the big cash prize? Mouth organ. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think we should just go for the awkward pause. Uh, I, I, uh, fine. <laughs> you want to do awkward pause with subtext? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's do awkward pause with... Okay. Um, smell my finger. <laughs> See, that's the subtext. <laughs> That no, I, I'll... Uh, what? Am I supposed to actually smell it? <laughs> this, well, that's, this is awkward. Yeah, exactly. This is about as awkward. Exactly. That's why I said smell my finger and now you feel awkward. Can I have the disco ball again? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> there you are. Just hold on to that. Ooh, ooh. You know, maybe that could be the thing. We've always wanted to do a thing with the glittery ball. We tried to do it, like, uh, at the end of the show, you know, at the end of the yeah. interview. You know, do you want a mouth organ, an awkward pause, oh, or... allow people to do a disco dance. Well, that's that's what we could do. All right, I'll hold the... Do you want to do the disco ball? Sure. Right, I'll hold it above your head, and you do a little disco dance, okay. all right? Okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> we'll be right back, everyone.